Investigation is underway tonight after an adult and a juvenile were shot and injured here in the east early this morning at a mobile home park. And tonight we're hearing from one of the people shot and community members. Merritt Morgan spoke to them and is live now in Greenville with more information. Merritt. Dave and Courtney, it was a challenge to speak to neighbors in the community for safety reasons. Now, one of the shooting victims that I did speak to who wants to keep his name and appearance hidden says that he and his brother were shot early this morning while being at the wrong place at the wrong time. Somebody came busting in my room saying, hey, bro, your brother shot, your brother shot. So I run over there to go see what's going on. I see him laying on the ground. I'm checking on him, telling him like, you good, bro. Just I'm right here with you. While he was helping his 16 year old brother, he was also shot. Next five minutes, I don't know. Another car came through, let out some more shots. I don't know. Like, and then after that, we ran. Neighbors I spoke to say Majette's mobile home park is a quiet community, but say in the recent months, they've seen otherwise. What happened around 10 o'clock last night? I saw a bunch of people hanging out over at that trailer, like eight to 10 guys running around um, and went to bed. Just hours later, gunshots were heard. And all of a sudden, gunshots started shooting around 4 o'clock in the morning behind my house. I heard gunshots over there. I didn't know if I should duck down in my kitchen. That trailer there, there was somebody laying in the, in the, uh, in the grass. Evidently, that boy was shot in the head. Somebody from over there was shot. Um, and he also broke his arm falling. Though the victim I spoke to whose face was grazed by a bullet is hopeful. I, I'm doing the shit. I'm fine. I can't complain. I'm still living, you know. Uh, things could have been worse. So, I don't know. I look at everything in a higher spirit. Lena says the violence has to stop. I'm not afraid. I'm angry. There is no reason for this. There is no reason whatsoever. The shooting is still under investigation and the victim that I spoke to says that he and his brother are not involved in any gang related activity at all. He also says that his brother is still at ECU Health and his condition is unknown at this time. Live in Greenville, Merritt Morgan, WITN News. All right, thanks Merritt. Pitt County deputies are asking anyone with information on this shooting to call Pitt Greenville Crime Stoppers.